Welcome everyone, this is Metal Canyon, and uh, this will not be a Let's Play, this will be a tutorial on how to get XCOM Apocalypse working on Windows 7, and I presume other systems as well, probably. Uh, just for the record, I'm using the 64-bit architecture, but that shouldn't matter because we will be using DOSBox. Now, I will be going through all the basics in this tutorial, so you've probably already figured out most of this yourself, but you've, if you haven't, well, then read on. First of all, we will download DOSBox. This one. An x86 emulator with DOS. This is DOSBox. And let's go to... Uh, downloads, obviously. And then you obviously download the latest version. You can download the installer or you can download the zip, whatever you want, really. But anyway, download the installer from SourceForge. Uh, I obviously won't downlo download it now because I already have it, but then install it. The next thing you will need is something called Daemon Tools but it's spelled like daemon so d a e m o n daemon tools oops need to type in tools as well Dam download daemon tools this is the thing you need and don't be scared by all the buy now stuff you need the daemon tools light because as you can see are you going to use daemon tools light at home personally and not for commercial purposes if yes then press on download and get it for free so you press download, Demon Tools, and download here. Now obviously you will install this as well. What this is, is sort of a virtual drive software. And I will show you how it looks like, or already have it installed. This is it. Uh, now here in the tray bar, you can then right click and click Disk Imaging. Now this is only for those of you who have the original CD. What you will need to do, like me, is select your CD or DVD drive or whatever, uh, put your XCOM Apocalypse DV well CD obviously in it, and then uh, save the destination image file somewhere. Somewhere you will um, remember that is and then start and when it will finish you will be able to mount this image you will need to add drives here you will click right click and then left click add scc uh, scsi virtual drive and uh, as you can see it's just added one but i don't want it so i'll remove this one <coughs> i already have two virtual drives here now what you will do next yes this takes a little bit this process. What you will do next is, um, as you can see, I already have my apocalypse image here. You can simply, you can simply uh, go to your folder where you've uh, ripped the CD image and um, drag. Well, what's going on now? Hello, Demon Tools. Ah, there we are. <coughs> you can drag the image. Like, if you, if this is the image, you will drag it like so onto this but obviously we can't this file because it's not the image and then you will drag this image onto the file like so and there we are and this means that this is now mounted so you can close this if you check out your drives you will see here that XCOM Apocalypse is mounted you can open it and there we are XCOM Apocalypse and this is all running from your hard drive. Uh, now, the next thing we need to do is make the configuration files. Now, when you install DOSBox, um, you really won't have any configuration files like the older versions had. So you'll have to go to Start, All Programs. Now, this is for Windows 7, obviously. You can just type in DOSBox, really. Whoops. DOSBox. And you need this, the options. You click the options, and there we are, the options file. Now this is a big, long mess of um, settings. 
If you're not old school and if you haven't used DOS in your childhood or whatever, then this will probably not mean much to you. Although, yes, this isn't DOS, obviously, but um, it soon will be uh, the DOS environment. What you need to do here is file save as, and you will save this because this is the original DOS, um, DOS box configuration file. You will save this to wherever your game is. Well, I like to put it on uh, my into my DOS box. So as you can see, I won't save it now, but just save it like like I did here. For example, apoc dot uh, This conf is a must. This extension because that's the configuration file. So I will close this one and I will edit this one. Open with Notepad. You probably won't have this um, in your menu if you right-click on the file. You will simply um, you can just leave it uh, an extension like txt yes and then you can edit it like normal but don't forget to rename the extension to dot conf now what you will need to do here um, basically these are my settings that work for me in the beginning this is not important you will be installing dosbox uh, I'm sorry uh, apocalypse through DOSBox. So scroll all the way to the bottom and you will probably have this. It will be empty. Lines in this section will be run at startup. You can put your mount lines here. So basically what you want to do here let me just paste this back. You will need uh, this line. You need to mount your virtual drive first into a, well, another virtual drive because this will be a virtual drive inside the DOS environment. You will write mount C or whatever drive you want to appear in DOSBox. Um, and then you will need to type in the path of where your um, game is. So, uh, what I did in DOSBox here. I made another folder named Apoc, it doesn't matter what you name it, you can name it Apocalypse or whatever, and this folder is empty in the beginning. What we do here, we mount this empty folder and give it a free size of 1024 megabytes. This is one gigabyte. And this is needed for XCOM Apocalypse to, to work normally. And also you will need this line exactly as it is except this part. You will mount it as D drive, so if you've mounted the game file as C and mount the CD-ROM as D, uh, you will need uh, this character to reflect what your virtual drive is. Now remember, not your, um, not your DVD drive, but your virtual drive. And in my case, if you check out, I have uh, all my drives and then I have the real DVD drive and then I have two virtual drives. One is U, one is V. So obviously we've uh, mounted it on U. I will write here U. If you've mounted the virtual drive on, I don't know, G, you will write G here. And then all this stuff is also necessary. Um, T, minus T, CD-ROM, UCD0, blah blah blah. You will need this for the CD-ROM to work properly. And that's it. Ignore these two lines. They're simply to start my XCOM Apocalypse game. Now, you will save this and remember... No, I don't want to save this time. Remember, you need to rename the extension to back to CONF config. Now what you will do, you need a shortcut for your Apocalypse game. Uh, I've already made one on the desktop. Uh, let's see it. Now what you will need in the target is this. It will need to point to DOSBox, which is here. You can simply drag it out onto the desktop.
software you have uh, installed uh, you will need to set up the sound there and when you do it will probably ask you for IRQ um, and stuff like that and basically what you will select is Sound Blaster 16 uh, IRQ of 7, DMA of 1 and I forgot what this one was of 220 but this works best for me so hopefully it will work best for you as well you can also copy all these settings for me if you want to but I think these are pretty much default uh, so right you've done the setup you can also test in the setup if you will hear that siren now remember um, it can't it mustn't crackle if it crackles it'll probably crackle in the game as well uh, and the rest what else is there to do you can exit as you can see when you've done when you're done with the setup you can exit DOSBug by simply uh, typing exit like that um, and the last thing to do is fine-tune the configuration file oh yes before I end this you will have this in uh, your configuration file and you can add this if you follow my instructions what these two lines will do is as soon as uh, you will run the shortcut the that shortcut we've created before uh, the DOS box will go to C and immediately run XCOM Apocalypse and yeah so you don't have to type this yourself now scroll all the way up else should be as is. Let me just check. Language, no. Uh, nothing else. And then this is pretty much ready to play. Now, as you play, you will have to fine-tune your speed. It'll probably start at 20,000 or something. I can't remember what Save this false and run apocalypse. Now, as you can see, there are two windows one is apocalypse, and one is this window. Now, if you look at the top here, it says seven, 76,000 cycles. If I press F control F12, see 77, 78, 79, 712, or if I press F11, it reduces cycles, and you can use this to to fine tune your XCOM Apocalypse speed whoops I already have it here uh, and then when you're satisfied you remember that number and write it right here fixed and then the number and that's pretty much it now I, re I realize this has been much much longer than I wanted it, uh, this tutorial to be and it was much more complicated so please, if you have any questions, you can, uh, you can um, write in the comments. Well, hopefully you will be able to get your XCOM Apocalypse working and enjoy this little gem on modern computers. Good hunting. Metal Canyon out.